Hey everyone, welcome back to Blacksad under the skin. We are back here in the gym. It was like this when I got here. Uh, gym has been broken in. Okay, uh, did you touch anything? Did you touch or move anything in here? Only the phone. Good. Calm down. I'll take care of this. Okay, I assume you moved the phone to call the police. Okay, we can't talk to you. Yeah, last time we had an encounter with O'Leary and met this lion whose name I forgot in the hospital. Had you already finished looking through these papers? I wish. Well, I guess you'll enjoy sorting all this again. And if the, yeah, the most recent event we had, we went to play some poker with the walrus guy. Oh. We actually have four deductions to do as well. Let's see if we can figure out something here. Already always plays it safe and he also bet 5000 on Yale, so... Uh, okay. And it's probably the drawer. Okay, sure. Um, it's definitely these two are like one. Definitely. Really? Okay. Switching by the pets. There we go. It looks like O'Leary has rigged the fight between Stone and Yale. <clears throat> yeah, that we learned already. What else can we deduct here? Oh, new deductions, sure. So yeah, we played some poker last time. Which was fun. We still don't know who the lizard doctor is. Okay, yell souls. Ah, there we go. It's pretty clear that Helen Moore's cigarette case was a gift from O'Leary. Yeah. Are still in love. Okay, so yeah, O'Leary is just... Or maybe O'Leary and Helen are working together to make big bucks. <laughs> Helen Moore says she hates O'Leary. And... If she's still in love, why does she claim she hates him? What is she hiding? Yeah, she's definitely hiding that they're working together. This is... Last one is a bit tougher. Is this like we can eliminate now? Maybe it's connected like Yale is, was kind of similar sit situation, younger age. Okay, and <laughs> that was like way off the... Okay. 
Okay. Um, okay, let's wait for let's explore a bit first before we try to go and pick up the final production. Bingo. What is it? Nothing. Just a freshly signed contract. And a footprint. Signed the document with his foot. His foot? Is that a spoiler that game devs overlooked? Or is that just general assumptions? this and this and maybe exclude Yale no okay it's definitely these two but they require something else What are you requiring? Okay. <clears throat> we'll come back to it later. Let's explore a bit more. Definitely something. I wonder if there's anything missing in the safe. Not that I suspected otherwise, but it's obvious they weren't looking for money. Yeah. Hmm. Looks like the burglar isn't interested in bureaucracy. Did they take anything? No. Although... Yeah, did you get your gun back? When you went in the hospital room to get your purse, did you get the gun as well? Yes. Isn't it there? I put it back. I'd rather not go through that again. Okay, let's believe her. That's too bad. It looks like they took it. <coughs> yeah. I'm inclined to believe her. Oh, she appreciates my trust. Nice. What are you doing? Do you like sardines? Excuse me? Do you like sardines? Ugh. Smell of sardines. <clears throat> okay. Sardines probably gives us a clue as to what kind of animal the person is. Do lizards eat sardine? Wait. <laughs> we don't have the sardine option here. Alright then. Um. Okay, I'm, <clears throat> I'm confused. I wonder if that's like everything there is to explore in here. purse down there mm. who's mm. is that mary purnell you think she did this really i wasn't expecting that okay still not still not that
Yeah, I'm I'm kind of like lost. Hold on, there's a card, isn't there? It's most definitely a card back there. Or not. I could be wrong. Let's hmm. Okay, so Mary saw whoever it was, unless this is like Mary's big plan. I'm not sure if I'm like. Am I missing a clue or something? Let's go really? check the rooftop. <clears throat> There's definitely gonna be something. More, more clues in here or, or something. Or that. What the hell? Hmm. Could be a knife wound. The murder was brutal. What was that flash there? Damn, I did not see this coming that Mary is dead. If I were you, I wouldn't quit. Trust me, it might be painful at first, but time heals all wounds. Why did you listen to me? Oh man. Would she still would she be alive if we wouldn't have said that line to her earlier. Dear Sonia, I need to tell you several, several things, things about, about your father. In fact, I know he would have wanted me to tell you, among them the fact that you co-own an apartment in Manhattan. Please call me. Yours truly, Mary Purnell. you to call the police, Sonia, and then go straight to a friend's house. Don't even think about going home and definitely don't come back here. I'm... I'm staying at a friend's house. I haven't even set foot in my father's place yet. Oh, poor Mary. Here. Do you have the keys? If the murderer didn't find what he was looking for, that might be his next stop. If he hasn't been there yet. Let me know if there's actually a way to save Mary from dying. I'm like interested to know. Because that was really sad. I wonder how like like Yale is gonna react to this.
for once I had the keys to the place, which meant I wouldn't have to use my lockpicks or... <sighs> yeah, you're still gonna have to break it up. Oh. Does, doesn't that mean that somebody's inside? That usually does mean that somebody is or has been inside. Why is that an empty... Like... There's an empty space on the wall. Weird. Like fantasy, little hand Fletcher, La Chapelle Records. Look at that. The guy sure had good taste. <clears throat> the art of boxing. An art, no doubt. Yeah. I see more art in a boxer's hypnotizing footwork than in certain modern paintings. Yeah, I can see it being an art in a sense. Hey, black side, you're kind of like not moving there. Does that mean that there's nothing there? The quiet lion. Mm, Dan, yeah, Dan is a film buff. I seem to recall Dan being mad about the pictures, <coughs> but who knows. Oh, card in here. Sardines? Sardines. It's been open for a few hours. Do we have a deduction here? Yeah. So, whoever broke in was here first. It's pretty clear that the burglar came by the house before heading to the gym, which means he probably didn't find what he was looking for in here. Yeah, that makes sense. Maybe it's the journalist weasel. Do weasels eat sardines? Do we have something new here? I'm gonna try a few more things here. <clears throat> okay. It's definitely something paired with this. I'm stumped. Okay, what's that? Note? Property sale agreement. Of course. Now I see how Dunn bought the apartment he was going to share with Mary. This place has to be empty in two weeks for the new owners. I wonder if Sonia knows about this. So then we're gonna move in. <coughs> Dunn died four days ago, and that lettuce still looks okay. Maybe Mary has been using this? Ready made meals on airplane trays in front of the TV. Who would have thought we'd end up eating like this? Yeah, it's not Mary. 
I've been buying stuff here. Maybe it's Yale's dad, Avernicus, or what was his name? Elaine. I think that was Dunn's wife's name, according to Jake. Okay. Wow. Could Dunn really afford such luxuries? Black Panther. Or did he only want to impress Mary? What else do we have here? Masculinity starts at work. <clears throat> Interesting. Anything? I'm gonna throw this crazy idea out in the open. Maybe it is weekly. Maybe weekly is the killer. Is this <clears throat> how he got in? He like literally wanted the scoop of a lifetime, so he's literally making the scoop. You still looked at her every morning, so many years later, with a new love? Maybe we don't need to forget. Maybe pain just transforms <clears throat> into, I don't know, something. Oh, black notepad. Surely there's something interesting there. My dear Mary, I bring you to this rooftop, the place where our love was born. I bring you to this rooftop where the love I feel for you was born to give you this ring and are these like failed this notes? This is too private. For the world's best dad on Father's Day, Sonia. Hold on. Was there like... Okay, probably it wasn't. Any flip options or something? Another empty closet. Alright, alright. That's it for the bedroom. <coughs> Is this like another bedroom? Could this be the origin of Sonia's interest in business management? Could be, my friend. Frank Papalia, under your skin. One of the very few teen idols who only got better with age. Under your skin, and the game na game's name is Under the Skin. Is that like literally telling me that Sonia is a killer? What's this doing here? Okay, I'm calling it. It's Sonia or Weekly. Or both of them. Nothing what happens will make me change my mind. I know I'm right about this. It looks like Dunn had already begun to move his things. Dunn? Thorpe? Hmm. No idea. And these two. They look familiar. Hmm. It's hard to believe that a pair of boxing fists could play something like this. Although I'm sure he had the lungs for it. Okay. We can leave there. <clears throat> What's that book? The Life of Harry Bradwick, Father of Baseball. 
<clears throat> Baseball. Interesting. No matter how hard I look, I'm not getting anywhere. I need to talk with Sonia, and maybe with her uncle, Tim. It brings back... I don't know. Bad memories? Bad memories? A pessimist, are we? It's like remembering <clears throat> the last day of summer. Scenes full of joy, picturesque landscapes, and yet... The light is faint and the air is still. The calm before the storm. Mm, yeah, I know the feeling. I know that feeling. I figured that much. I can see it in your eyes. We met in the army. <laughs> we were all professional athletes. They called us the Olympic Five. All right, uh, let's talk about Don was first. Was Don already boxing? Yes, he was. I had already seen him fight before I even met him. He was as humble in the ring as he was in life. He'd always let his rivals take the initiative. I remember how he barely dodged the blows. If you didn't look at his feet, it seemed like he wasn't even moving. And the footwork, pure dancing. You could almost hear the music. The song would play until his opponent was exhausted. Then came the drum roll, followed by Dunn's victory by KO. Nice. What about you? What about you? I had just signed with the Milestones. I hadn't even played my first game, but people said I had a bright future ahead of me. Yeah, you did. And you did. The cop at the hospital sure seemed happy to be the proud owner of a Tim Ironarm Thorpe autograph. Who would have thought that I'd end up becoming Tim Iron Legs Thorpe? What happened? I fought the Nazis for two years, up there in the sky, over Europe. And I never set foot in a field hospital. Three years later, I crossed the street without looking. And look at me now. That's just unlucky. Hey, who's this crazy looking person? Who's the guy on the left? Ah, Viktor Sukovsky, the athlete. You've probably heard of his medals. No, I haven't. Maybe I'm missing something. Hey, who's the ape? Hey, isn't that Craig Spano? The guy on the Morley's billboards? The baseball yes, guy. Yes, indeed. Our captain. He was the oldest, after all. And star of the New York Warriors. <laughs> he was an orphan, you know. But he loved the sport so much that he said baseball was his family. Hey, and this guy. Who's the guy on the right? Angus Mitchell, our combat medic. And a doctor with the New York Warriors, which is how he met Spanow. It was Spanow who got him assigned to our platoon. What happened to all of them? Zukovsky died the same day the injured Dunn. Dunn received an honorable discharge and came home. He quit boxing and opened his gym. Mitchell was redeployed to a field hospital. Spano and I continued in the same unit, but nothing was ever the same. You see what I meant with the last day of summer? And after the war, well, who the hell cares? I do. Uh, what happened to Spano? Why is his glove on Sonny's room? Well, you've seen the billboards. He made it big time. When I was forced to retire, I got him some advertising deals. That's how I founded this agency. But then, something happened to him. He became sullen. He fell out of shape. And slowly but surely lost touch with reality. He withdrew from public life and broke off our friendship. Haven't heard from him in, uh, what, three years? And believe me, I've tried to contact him. Okay. And what happened to Mitchell? What happened to Mitchell after the war? Mitchell? Who knows? We lost touch. I hope he's doing well. Was Mitchell a lizard in the picture? I mean, is he the doctor in the hospital? I think I saw Mitchell not too long ago, but I can't remember where. Seriously? Please try to remember. I'd love to hear from him again. I'll do my best. Okay, uh, do you think Spano was involved in Dunn's death? You think Spano might have been involved in Dunn's death? Spano? No way. Why is this he blurry? And Dunn were always... Distracting. Well, Spano's changed so much that it's hard to say. Allow me to double your wage. 
You have to find the murderer. Maybe Dunn stayed in touch with Mitchell or Spano. Maybe even with both. But he never told me anything. Maybe Sonia knows. I doubt it. But that's not the only question I've got for her. May I? Okay. Sorry about that knocking controller hit the table. Okay, so we have a bunch of new, de new deductions, I assume. Yes? Sonia? No, she's not here. Who's calling? Where is she? No, oh, she's on the roof. With Mary's note. I'm still calling Weekly and Sonia, working together. Mm. Was your father in touch with Spano or Mitchell? Was your father still in... Have you ever wished you'd never been born? What? I live oh. with that constant thought. Then we're both in the same boat. The first time was right after... That was a really bad York. way to read the room, by the way. I hated my mother. She was the reason we moved from the countryside and the smell of freshly mowed grass to this dirty city and the smell of medicine. Her medicine. The second time was after she died. I hated myself for having hated her before. For not having loved her enough. The third time was when my father shut himself off. I hated him for that, for abandoning me, for giving in to the booze. Now he's dead, so take a guess. Mm. You realize how much you loved him? You've realized just how much you really loved him? I guess so. But that's not the worst of it. The problem is I don't know how to live without hating him. Oh, you Over the away. last few years... Everything I've done was meant to push my father far away. To avoid being like him. To avoid making his same mistakes. Without him, I just don't know who I am. <laughs> and you won't even let me hate Bobby. Which might actually help me. The more you hate, the worse you feel. The more you hate... The worse you feel. You think I don't know that? I need someone to blame. Oh, darn it. <clears throat> Without that someone, I have only myself to hate. Um, I'll find the person who did this. I'll find the person who did this. Even though she's sitting next to me. Let me have my doubts. Although, you've already come so far. I'm sorry I haven't been a little more grateful. In any case, you shouldn't hate yourself. You are... You are no, what? You have such oh, good there qualities. There we go. Um, let's say all of them. You're kind, smart, and beautiful. Are you really trying to flatter me now? No, I... Seriously, I didn't mean to... <laughs> sorry. Anyway, can we just drop the subject? Oh. Darn it. Did you go to my father's apartment? Yes. The thief went there before coming to the gym. Which leads me to believe he didn't find what he was looking for. And what was he looking for? That's what I intend to find out. With your help. Okay, um... Let's talk about dance taste in music, like easing up into the conversation first. Your dad had great taste in music. You think? Let me guess. The same taste you have, right? Exactly. You don't know how happy that makes me. Oh, really? Okay. Um, then there was the war picture. I found a picture taken during the war. <laughs> the Olympic Five. Did you meet any of them, besides your father and uncle? Well, Uncle Tim actually isn't my uncle. No? He and my father loved each other like brothers. Did he tell you that he saved his life? 
What do you mean? saved your father? They were flying over Brittany in a three-unit fighter plane. Oh, this is cool. Bukowski was the pilot, my father was the co-pilot, and my uncle manned the machine gun. Suddenly, enemy fire killed Zukovsky and injured my father, which is why he never boxed again. My uncle jumped out of the gun turret, ran to the cockpit, and managed to pilot the plane to safety. Oh, the times my father told me that story. And now... That's cool. Um, you still have your uncle. You still have your uncle? Yes, I guess you're right. Maybe he can also save me. Okay, uh, what can you tell me about Mitchell? Did you ever meet Mitchell, the doctor? Mitchell? The lizard? No, never. Why? Oh, nothing. I think I've seen him somewhere. Okay, how about Spano? Did you Why? ever meet Spano? What can you tell me about him? I think I saw him once, but I was just a little girl. I think my uncle turned him into a star. That was a long time ago. I found a baseball glove with Spano's autograph in your room. Oh, I've never seen it. My father must have put it there. Although I don't remember him having a signed glove. Interesting. Okay, while we're on the subject of the glove, I found your childhood room. I saw your old room. That's embarrassing. Stop, or I'll end up hating you. <laughs> Mm, I like Frank Papalia as well. I'm also a fan of Frank Papalia. Oh yeah, the poster. I only liked him because my father thought he was too modern. But I'm glad we agree. I thought you shared my father's taste in music. <laughs> hey, the Abacus. Did the Abacus inspire you to dabble in finances? The most useful gift anybody has ever given me. Okay, uh, it's probably a gift from your mother a gift from your mother from my uncle tim oh of course Makes he used sense. to say that in this day and age a woman should know how to count my father didn't agree but he didn't oppose it either people thought he was a liberal because of his attitude towards racial issues but at home things were different okay uh what about the music box it's odd that there are practically no toys or memories of your childhood in the room, except for a small music box. That box? It might just be my last happy memory. Oh. It's from before my mother got sick and we moved here. I loved reading stories about pirates. So, my father drew a treasure map for me. I searched the whole house one clue at a time. It led me to this enormous tree in the yard where Daddy had put up a, a tire swing. X marks the spot, so I, I dug to find my treasure. I loved the music it played, the ballerina and the little secret compartment. Oh, the secrets I kept in there. I think it's the first time I heard you call your father, Daddy. Uh, really? <laughs> that was cool. Nice little flashback. Um, are you cold? Are you cold? <clears throat> A little. Maybe I should go. Uh, yeah, it's getting late. Yeah, it's getting late. Anyway. Thanks for the company. Uh, thank you. Sonia, thank you. Yay! Aren't you coming? I knew I was looking at a solution, but what exactly needed solving? 
Okay, now we have to do some deductions. Okay, let's see. Mm. I have no idea how those two would have connected. Okay, let's think about this. Music box under the swing tire tree. Oh, the painting. It has the same tree. Hmm. Maybe Dunn used the same hiding place once more. Oh, who's this? Sog. I'll never understand why detectives and criminals bluster while they fight each other in the pictures. What a waste of breath, focus, and energy. Personally, oh, darn I it. prefer to save my breath for the final roar. I was expecting, like, to be the same button again. I'll never understand why detectives and criminals bluster while they fight each other in the pictures. What a waste of breath, focus, and energy. There we go. Oh, nice, Sonia. Oh, that's not cool, dude. It's not the lack of credibility in the screenplay that bothers me. Plus, it's actually pretty handy. When a crook talks to you in the middle of a fight, you know you're up against a rookie. Okay, let's help him. And if he doesn't even say, help me please, Oh. Was he gonna die either way? I'm pretty sure I mashed the button like all the way to the end. Huh. Oh well. Okay, so somebody hired a thug to kill us. So we're getting close. And this is the perfect time to end the episode. Since we... Oh, the thug is injured, actually. That's cool. Well, that makes more sense because he fell, like, on top of a trash... Trash stuff, so... Yeah. We bonded a bit with Sonia in this episode and... Explored Dan's place and... It really hasn't been that abandoned, it seems. But the biggest thing that happened, we lost Mary. I I feel really sad about that. I'm like Let me know if there was a way to save her. Like at least at that point. So yeah. Mm. I'm still gonna go with my random thought that Sonia and Weekly are working together. And they are they are the culprits. But yeah. Uh, if you made this far, hopefully you enjoyed, and hopefully I'll see you next time when we go and interview the thug who tried to kill us, and also the commissioner is there. It seems as well. So yeah. See you guys next time.